Hi. Um, I just woke up and got in the shower. Um, I had to take a Benadryl because I'm allergic to cantaloupe now. And I ate a few pieces because it's in my fridge and I hate wasting food. And then it just made my face swell and my throat hurt and it's not good. So anyway, um, I'm getting ready to head over to my parents' house to watch uh, Top Chef Just Desserts, which is so filled with drama and so fun and awesome. And uh, Amazing Race tonight because me and my parents watch Amazing Race together too. I think it's adorable that we do that. And um, yeah, so um, there was so much in your video last night. Um, I don't know where to start. Um, hmm. Oh, I was going to show you what I knit today, but I'm nowhere near where all the stuff is. Um, I knit like a DPN holder, you know, uh, Lethal, how she does those quick knits. I bought some of her pattern collections, and uh, so there was like a DPN cup, and then um, I mashed it with glue to stiffen it because I made it out of sugar and cream, and then I made some bookmarks out of cotton too. I'm doing some stash busting today, so I'll probably make more of those today, and I'll have to stiffen those with glue and water. So those will be super awesome. I'll show you. Um, I'll show you the bookmarks. They're really cute. They're really cute. Anyway. Um, Let's see. Oh, the hair thing. It is fucking adorable. You need to wear that out in public. I am so jealous you have cute, cute hair things. Um, I bought, when the yarn store was closing, I bought some, like, these flower buttons. But they're not, like, button buttons. They're, you know, they're like flowers, you know, um, made out of, an, like, a straw-like thing. But they're super cute. Um... For the next video, I'll get them together so I can show you to make into, like, barrettes and stuff like that. And plus, I'm going to look on Etsy for some barrettes and stuff. Um, yeah, because I need to cut this. So, it's just too long and it's too gross and my bangs are too long. And um, so, yeah, I'm not going to be able to stop messing with my hair this entire time. Um... Let's see, what else? Oh, I read your Wildly Inappropriate blog, and it is amazing. You need to keep that up. You need to, my favorite posts are the ones where you can near the pictures. Um, the flower wreath, I died. I died on the inside. I died. That, that was awesome. If I can get, um, in December, I'll be able to get a new phone, and I might be hopping on to my sister's family plan. So I can get an iPhone, so I can get that NPR Music app and uh, this American Life app. And uh, I'll have a working camera phone, and I'll canere some shit and send it to you. And then you can just wax poetic. I'll just tell you about it, and then you can... Um, there we go. Then you can write. Um, let's see. Oh, um, I'll get back to the love one. Um, I think that's a great idea with... Um, when we when we compliment ourselves that we compliment the other person too i think that's really good since um since it is really hard i, I it took me all day to figure out something good i was going to say about myself um i knew what i was going to say about you after i watched your video though um what I love about you is that you're unafraid to tell the world what you're thinking and feeling and that you are so brave to tell the internets. Um, I really, really admire that in you. Um, that's why I, it's been really hard for me to like write blogs and stuff like that because I um, am very closed off in what I tell people and what I tell the world about, um, you know, things about myself. Like, sure, I'll talk about music and movies and pop culture and knitting, and I'll talk about things that are considered, like, you know, outside things about me. Um, but I would never, ever be able to, like, I really, really tried the blog thing where I'd be all like, hey, it was a shitty day. La, 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 la. You know, and I, I just, I, I can't do that. I guess I... I'm just too closed off and too private, and that's that's a problem for me that I am trying to work on. Um, the thing about myself is um, that I like is that I'm fiercely loyal, um, that I'm a super loyal friend. You can be a super shitty friend to me, 
and I will be your friend up until like a certain point if you do something wildly inappropriate or totally unacceptable and you have to do it like 10 times for me to be all like okay you know what you're you're cut out um same with like bands artists books you know anything I'm fiercely loyal you have to be completely wretched to me or do something so yucky that yeah so I'm fiercely loyal so that's that's a good thing and I like that about myself um not everyone is fiercely loyal <laughs> so yeah so there's that um oh soulmates yes we're totally soulmates um yes I love how close we are and I've never felt so close to um very many people as I do you and that I can tell things to and talk to and we laugh at the same things and you know I'll be like driving somewhere or I'll see something I'll be like so funny and I'm laughing and laughing and it's like I know that there are very few a handful of people that would be able to you know get how I feel about things or um, get why something was so funny or you're the only one who would be in on that kind of joke or something like that so that's pretty rad um, yeah when you talked about the Grey's Anatomy how you know how super close they were and how um, she talked her through the panic attack and stuff like that that's kind of like us and it's gone both ways so that that kind of warms my heart the only character that I could stand on Grey's Anatomy was Christina because she was super awesome and super badass and didn't take shit from anybody so yeah so there's that um, I read your just make it stop blog um, yeah um, with love I'm okay with everyone else being in love. I don't want to like ruin it for them um, because there's some relationships that are really good and that that I believe in love um, because of those relationships that people can um, come together and have a functioning relationship and not be dysfunctional or not create negativity with it or you know what I'm saying not that has good vibes and they sincerely should be together and stuff like that I'm not making sense today I'm just kind of like rambling and stuff like that and not quite connecting I don't know I think it's the Benadryl I don't think I quite have it out of my system yet um anyway so which is funny because yesterday you said I was a critical thinker and I'm just like yeah you know and I'm not able to make points and what you said I was a critical thinker it really like surprised me um, because that's one of the reasons why I won't go back to school because I don't think I am a critical thinker. I don't think I think about things deep enough or thoroughly enough. So thanks for saying that. That made me happy. So um, whether I believe that about myself quite yet um, is something to be worked on. But that makes me happy that I feel that you feel that I can hold a conversation <laughs> somewhat intellectually <laughs> um, because I worry about that sometimes as evidenced by this video um, so yeah the love thing I don't necessarily want to ruin it for other people um, do I still believe in love for me um, I don't know I, I know not now the way I'm living my life now because there would be no way for me to meet anybody with just going to my job going to knit night you know doing just ordinary stuff um, and plus I am far too shy in public um, to like meet someone like at a bar or at a show or anything someone that I find attractive um, and if I do find someone attractive they're always with a girl <laughs> always 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 so um, so yeah um, I do I'm so inspired about what you're doing in Alaska how you have these two like totally kick-ass jobs that you totally believe in and you go out and you're making different friends and you're meeting people and you talk to people and stuff like that um, I really really want to do more of that um, I've been wanting to apply at Zia the stupid record store for like months but I am too scared to go and get an application and fill it out and turn it in because I'm afraid of being rejected and because 
I reject myself most of the time, so it would be especially brutal to be rejected at the record store because then if I wanted to go pick up some records, I would have to go drive to the other Zia, which is all the way across town. So, yeah, I'm pretty scared about that. Um, but I do want to get some sort of part-time job where I can meet people and interact and not be so socially awkward. And it also made me think that I held you back in Vegas. Um because I was so socially awkward and maybe that it rubbed off on you. And I know like former boyfriend really did overshadow you when you guys were in public, um, which was always disappointing to me. Um, yeah. So, yeah. So I'm really glad that you were doing everything and you found out you're not shy. That's really, really awesome. Um, let's see. What else is there? Um, I know, like, as soon as I, like, record a video, put it up, and I'm thinking about it as I'm driving somewhere, um, because that's where I tend to do most of my thinking, um, I always remember shit that I want to tell you, and think, okay, I'll go home and I'll do a bonus video, and, you know, rattle off everything that I forgot to tell you, but then, by the time I record my video the next day, I mostly forget, so, it's... It's a little frustrating, but we'll get there. I'll get there, definitely. Maybe I'll learn to take notes like you do. Um, that would just be way too organized. If I cannot keep my sock needles near the sock yarn in somewhat an organized fashion, I note taking would just be whoa. Um, so yeah. I don't, I don't think I have anything else for now. I'll probably remember a ton, ton, ton of stuff that I wanted to say today later as I'm watching um, a bunch of um, shittiness and, you know, snarkiness and meanness uh, between people on the good reality programs. Um, one TV show that I watched over the summer with my dad that was very regrettable was <laughs> Scrappers. It was our favorite show of the summer. It was just, um, they followed around this scrapping crew in Brooklyn. It was on the Spike TV network, which is the lowest of low in TV programming. Um, so yeah, we would watch scrappers and <laughs> we had favorite scrappers and we would imitate them and it was awesome. I hope there's a next season. <laughs> we would watch it. Um, when I work over there, um, on Wednesdays during lunch, we would get our, hurry up and get our lunch together. And then we watch scrappers. So, um, yeah. And when I tweeted about it, one of the scrappers retweeted me on Twitter <laughs> and I was like, who retweeted my tweet about scrappers? And it was a scrapper. <laughs> it was crazy. Um, yeah, now I'm just like straight battling. So I should go, um, Oh, before then, um, have you watched House? Um, it's still terribly disappointing. Um, are you watching Bones? Um, because if you are, let's discuss. Because that show isn't disappointing me. And we're on its sixth season. So um, that was my house. Remember last summer, like I watched House all summer? Well, and then, so I watched Buffy, like towards the beginning of the summer. watched all of Buffy, and that was awesome. And I watched Bones. Uh, this summer also, and that did not disappoint at all. Um, yeah, that, that show is currently making me really happy. Um, yeah, so that's it. Oh, 30 Rock, yes, I love Carol. Um, and I love Liz in a relationship. I, I always do. She's fantastic. Even when she was in a relationship with Dennis and mad. So I hope they bring Dennis into this somehow that he ruins something for her because those are always my favorite moments of a 30 rock season is when Dennis Steffi comes back. Hello, dummy. Mm. Hello, Liz Elizabeth called her by her Christian name. I love that. I love it. I love it. I love it. So anyway, I love you. Um, talk to you soon. Heart you. I made it, uh, almost barely under, if I hurry up and turn it off, it'll be like 14 minutes and 40 seconds, probably my shortest video ever. So bye.